Mayor Kasim Reed was joined by Ambassador Andrew Young, Atlanta Falcons owner Arthur Blank, Department of Watershed Management Commissioner Keisha L. Powell, Department of Parks and Recreation Commissioner Amy Fong, and other dignitaries and neighborhood residents to break ground on Rodney Cook Senior Park in historic Vine City. And I want to thank two amazing commissioners. We would not be here without Amy Fung, and we would not be here without Keisha Powell. Between these two extraordinary women leaders, they have led investments in this park of more than $16 million. Please give them a round of applause. Way down deep, we all love you. And I, I, I need to say that uh, that's true of uh, Rodney Cook. Rodney Cook was my opponent when I ran for Congress. And he and I ran against each other, and we came out much better friends. But Rodney Cook, I've been together with the Cook family all of my political career, and they've always been really visionary people, loving people, responsible people, who are looking out for the welfare of this city. Now, the vision of peace, the idea, which I did not know, that the deed for this land to become Atlanta was deeded without violence by Chief Tomochichi. And that that occurred right about here. And then right on the top end of this hill is the residence of a Nobel Prize winner who brought peace to the entire nation and helped to bring peace to the world. Continues to humble and inspire us. I want to thank Rodney Cook the son of this park's namesake and the president of the National Monuments Foundation for his vision, for his passion, and for his stick to -itiveness. This park, y'all can clap for that. This park has been guided by his passion for memorializing history through place-making monuments and sculpture. Its collection of statues that pay tribute to our civil rights leaders will make it a singular experience for our residents and visitors alike. Specifically those of Councilman Michael Bond, son of my dad's friend, Senator Julian Bond. Michael's grandfather, Horace Mann Bond, was the trustee for the $25 billion Barnes collection of park in Philadelphia. The equivalent of that in Atlanta is the Arnett collection of African American art. I see that Bill Arnett is here and inform all of you that he has recently gifted the High Museum of Art, the De Young Museum of San Francisco, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York well over a hundred works. He has 12,000 important museum quality works. Please give Bill a hand for his extraordinary generosity to this city. Stay tuned on that.